What's up everyone, Sixpenny here, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can use your created ball players in Diamond Dynasty in MLB The Show 23. This was the biggest question I get every single year on my MLB The Show content. So I'm gonna show you the whole process today, how to create new ball players, manage them, and ultimately use them in Diamond Dynasty. If you all find this tutorial helpful, drop a like, it really helps the channel, and subscribe for more, and let's go ahead and go through this. So when you're on the main menu in MLB The Show 23, you're going to go up to the very top left where it shows your name. So where it shows your name and icon at the top left, you're going to click right there. And then once you're there, it's going to take you straight into the ball player screen. So in the ball player screen, you can create new ball players. You can have up to 10 different ball players in this game. You can change your skill set and perks in the overview section. And this is where you can create new loadouts and see your actual attributes and apply equipment. So it looks a little bit different this year, but it's the same system. And then you can also edit and change your appearance as well. Now, what's important to know, whenever you create your ball player and pick your position, that is the only position they can play in Diamond Dynasty. So Ryan Gamer here is a left fielder. That means there are no secondary positions. He can only play left field in Diamond Dynasty, but he can also be a DH. So this year, your created ball players can be DHs as well. So when you create a ball player, you can have a position player, a two-way starting pitcher and position player, or a two-way closer and position player, and of course, a starter pitcher. But the position you choose is where they're going to show up in Diamond Dynasty. So when you're in this menu, how do you switch between ball players? You're going to go to see all ball players, and you're going to load the specific player that you want in Diamond Dynasty. For this example, I already have Ryan Gamer loaded and I will show you how to find pitchers as well, which is the reason I have a couple different characters here. So Ryan Gamer is active. He's the active ball player. You can see it right there. So once your active ball player is ready, you're gonna back out of the menu. You're gonna go to Diamond Dynasty. And then once you're in Diamond Dynasty, you're gonna go to Manage Squad. And then in Manage Squad, you're only gonna be able to find this left fielder in two spots. That is going to be in the left fielder position, of course. So when I select left fielder and scroll over, Ryan Gamer is there. Now, what's important to note right now, you see the card art? It's saying Ryan Gamer is 65 overall. Still this season, the card art does not update and the stats at the bottom right does not update. So that's always the biggest question I get each and every year. So keep in mind, the stats shown in the bottom right and on your player card, and if I hit Y and look at the player card, these are not accurate. These do not update. So your overall in Diamond Dynasty at that point in time is is your player in Diamond Dynasty. It's not these stats. And how you can see this, if you go into a game and your ball player is up to bat, you can pause it and look at the player card of the hitter and it will show your actual stats in that menu. So don't worry about the stats shown here. It's always gonna show 65. It's always gonna show that your player is terrible. It is not true. It's still not fixed this year, but I, I wanted to point that out again. So I'm gonna click on Ryan Gamer. He's now in left field. He's in the game. But what I can also do, I can also put Ryan Gamer in at DH as well. They're always easy to find because you just go to the 65 overall player. So you can always find your ball player, just scroll into 65. So I could put Ryan in as a DH. I could put him on the bench, but of course I can't use him as a starter pitcher or bullpen pitcher. So say I don't want to use Ryan Gamer. Say I wanted to use a closing pitcher or starting pitcher or two-way player. I'm going to hit B. A lot of, a big mistake a lot of people made last year is they would go to the top left in Diamond Dynasty to try to change ball players. They're like, my other ball player doesn't show up. You cannot change active ball players from within the Diamond Dynasty menu. You have to do that from the main menu. Yes, I can edit the play style. I can change the loadout. I can edit equipment here within Diamond Dynasty for that ball player, but I can't take Ryan Gamer out. The only way I can change active ball players is to quit out of Diamond Dynasty, go back to the main menu, go to the top left, and you're gonna to go to see all ball players again, and we're gonna put in the closer two-way player. So I can show you how to find the two-way player. So we're gonna load closer. Now closer is the active ball player. Gonna go back out to Diamond Dynasty. 
So we're going to go back into Manage Squad. And what's cool this year about two-way players, whether they're a starting pitcher or closing pitcher two-way player, they have not only the pitcher role, they have a primary secondary position as well. So you can find this two-way player in three different spots. So in this example, we can, we can play him as a DH if we wanted to. So we can have him in the DH slot. We can find closer two-way here at 65 overall. We can put him in as a DH. We could also put him in this specific two-way player secondary position is second base so i could also play this player as second base so there's closer right there one thing that's important to keep in mind again if i look at the player card it is going to show a lot of secondary positions catcher first base second base third base left field and right field that is not true you can only play the secondary position that you choose when you create the player so for me it was second base so do not worry what the card art shows here because it is not accurate on the secondary positions that your two-way player can actually play so we can play them at second base but also of course we can play them in any of the bullpen slots we could put them in as a closer middle reliever we can put them wherever we want go to 65 overall and you can find your ball player there and the same thing for a starter pitcher the starter pitcher would only appear here in the starting pitcher if they're a two-way player it'd be a starter pitcher dh and whatever their primary secondary position is when you create them so one thing i wanted to show real quick before we close out this video is one thing that's really cool about two-way players this year is you can substitute them in in the game at any point so if you're in the middle of a game, if you go to the substitutions tab, you could go in and put your creative player, your ball player that's a two-way player in the game. So if you want, if I wanted to sub out Nolan Arenado here, I can hit A and scroll all the way down to put closer two-way to play the game. If I'm not going to use them in the bullpen, I can put them in in a position or I could put them into DH. So I can go to substitutions, take out Mike Piazza and put in closer two-way if I wanted to. And I also wanted to show you all the actual stats. So remember the card art shows you 65 overall. But if I click on closer two-way here and I hit the Y button to view their player card, their stats before were 33 in every one. Now I can see their actual stats right now. And I can also toggle to actually show their hitting stats. So instead of showing 30 all across the board, this is actually this closer two ways player specific attributes. So that is actually how you look to see if the attributes are actually being applied in Diamond Dynasty. So there you have it. I hope you all found this video helpful. The biggest questions I get are why is my overall really bad? Why is my card art always show that I'm 65? But remember, when you're in a game in Diamond Dynasty and you look at the player card or you just notice your player when you're hitting, you get the swing feedback at the bottom left. It's going to show your power and contact splits the way they are in Road to the Show. So there were actually a lot of glitches in the ball player system in MLB The Show 22 with some people's ball players not showing up in Diamond Dynasty. I have not had that specifically this year, but if you do have any glitches or bugs, leave them in a comment down below. And especially if you find a fix form or a temporary workaround before they're patched out of the game let us know in a comment and because you, you never know somebody may come across it and get some help in your specific comment but if you got some enjoyment drop a like subscribe for more if you don't know this i have a full road to the show series playlist on the channel that is always the longest running career mode series here on the channel so check that out playlist in the description or just check the channel page and i also have a second channel gamer ability 2 if you want even more content from me but you all are all legends. Thank you for the support. I will see you in the next one. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.